Hey everyone and welcome back Today, I thought it would be cool to do a little talk with you guys A little, you know, questions and answer Q&A And for that reason, not just for that reason But anyway, I have a special guest and that is Hi May I present to you Hannah, hi, I'm Hannah I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not used to speaking English a lot, so please don't judge me for my mistakes I will surely make. <laughs> yeah, but we thought it would be cool to kind of just chit chat about some topics you guys told us to talk about. Because I asked in my Instagram story if anyone wants us to talk about a certain topic or any questions you may have to me or us. And we're gonna talk about them in this video. And yeah. yeah. Uh, first off, I think it would be cool to kind of talk about where we know us from. Yeah. Before uh, we get into all the questions. I think we, I think I saw a TikTok from you, of you, in February yes. this year. And uh, Julie was like, yeah, when you have the vibe, uh, Matilda Jeff, uh, Amali Star, yeah. <laughs> like to take Pictures and stuff like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a trend at the yeah. time to post a TikTok and being like, if you're like into brunch and a Molly <laughs> Star and what's the earth? DM yeah. me. And then I was like, okay, I will write her, text her. The original explanation of how we met is six minutes. I don't know why we thought we need to tell you guys a whole story, a whole novel about how we met, we could have just kept it short with we met over social media. Yeah, now we're here in Paris, and as you may know, I moved. And yeah, yeah, she's visiting me. I have first, first yes. one. Yeah. I like it here. I, I love it here. And if you did not know, we're both German. Both I'm from, from Berlin. Yeah. But and we both are YouTubers, we both are uh, yeah. active on Instagram. Yeah. So it's like really, a good coincidence that we fit of us though. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> I think it's really good that we both love to take pictures, both like to uh, film videos, because then it's not like annoying for the other person that yeah. the one is all the time on the on the phone or something. So <laughs> yeah, but um exactly. She has a YouTube as well. It's in yeah. German though. Yeah, but yes. Um, if you want to learn German, or you are German, then you can take a look at her in uh, Insta. As well, as Instagram well. as well. <laughs> you don't need German for that, but YouTube. Okay, let's go with the questions. Okay, so I'm gonna look up what you guys told us or wrote in my Instagram story. I think I'm just gonna start with the first question, and that is why Paris and not Berlin? Um, I feel like that's a question to me because obviously yeah. you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean for you as well, why Berlin mm -hmm. and not, you know, yeah. other cities? Yeah. Well, I think it's a good question. So for me, um, I lived in Berlin like my entire life and um, I just thought it would be nice to kind of like get out of the city because I've always known it. I've never lived anywhere else and I really had that like, I felt the need to move into a different city and even into a different country because I just like speaking other languages. Um, I'm currently learning French guys, so we'll see about that. <laughs> but, she does um, a great job. I think she would always tries at, at restaurants or something like that. She's like, bonjour, uh, je prends, uh, uh, merci beaucoup. Oui, <laughs> oui, <laughs> baguette. Yeah, I, I try. Yeah, so, and you do a good job. Yeah, now. and Paris, uh, so I'm starting my studies as well, so mm -hmm. in business. And I applied to multiple universities and then I got accepted at my favorite one. It has a program where you can live in three years of doing your bachelor in three different cities and one of those cities was Paris so I was very excited because I always dreamt of living in Paris. Do not ask me why I thought dreamt was a word. I meant to say dreamed of living in Paris. I don't know why or where that came from. Let's just forget about it. So for me that was a win-win. 
and yeah, now I'm here. I don't know. So yeah. I'm very, very excited. For me, obviously a big reason is also like fashion and everything. I really do like this like French flair, like the mm -hmm. Parisian vibe, you know. Why Berlin for you? Yeah, I moved to a, to a town for students for my studies as well. For two years I lived in Jena and it was also that time that COVID started so I was not able to find a lot of friends or um, make a lot of connections there and enjoy life there and that's why yeah, I moved away because it was not my vibe. I did not fit in there. I was unhappy at that time. So I moved to Berlin, back to my family, and yeah, I'm very happy with that. Because I have the feeling that Berlin is a city where you can be anonymous. 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 So I have the feeling that I can go out and nobody gives a damn about how I look or uh, who I'm with or what I do. And I don't know the people I see on the streets. And I like this a lot and that I'm near my family. Yeah, I like Berlin and I'm not planning on moving. But I, I can I can understand your point of view that you are like sick of your hometown or bored of the people there maybe as well or bored of the vibe, you wanted to experience something new. Yeah. I mean, it's Julie's first apartment as well, her first time living alone and I think it's a very exciting thing to, to experience yeah. as well because I, I, I have a lot of respect for Julie at this point because she moved at the age of 18 years to a, a city in another country and you're alone here and I was like yeah but what do you do when something is wrong when you feel unsafe or something like that yeah I mean of course but <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. I, I just think it's really really cool and I really like not challenging myself because I think that's maybe a little too going out of, of your point. comfort zone yeah, maybe yeah. exactly just going out of my comfort zone and kind of yeah. experiencing something completely new and um, yeah that's why I love it and exactly I think it's so cool that you not just talk about talked about it you were like yeah I want to and I'm thinking about it, it would be so cool but she did and that's why I I have a lot of respect for that for that thank you <laughs> so now you're here for a year exactly I am here for Almost a year, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited and yeah. I'm really thankful as well. But I was so. like, um, I thought about living here a year. After a year, you will have the perfect surroundings, yeah. you have the perfect yeah. life here and then you have to move again. How do you feel about that? I mean, I think that's basically, that's not the charm of it because that would be too much. I don't know how it will feel mm. when I'm like actually moving and there's like a lot of people I'm leaving behind. I feel like it teaches you a lot and I think, you know, it doesn't mean that the next thing will be bad or yeah. worse just because the first thing was so good. Mm. But I like that. I like that feeling of unknown mm. and that feeling of, okay, you need change mm. and there's something new coming. And I mean, I can always go back to Paris. Yeah, true. That's so, true. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, so the next question or the next basically topic more that was written in my question box. Uh, okay guys, so it's currently starting to Thunder. storm a little bit. A storm is forming. Stormy. Yo. <laughs> no, Stormy, but. Baby. Stormy baby. But the next topic was to talk about the dream city of where we would want to live or basically if you could have any choice where would you want to live mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know i'm i think i visited a lot of cities in europe i was also in the us like in new york and stuff and i really liked it but the difference is i, I went there with my parents so mm -hmm. i was there like two or three days and I can't make a decision on it. Especially in New York, there. yeah, because it's so big. I think I am going to LA on Sunday, <laughs> and I always thought, yeah, LA would be very nice because, like, the beach and the city vibe and stuff. But I don't know. I think I have to experience more to actually answer this question. Yeah. But when I have yeah. to decide, it right now I would choose like Copenhagen or something like oh. that. Oh, yeah. Also, okay. I, I love Berlin. I'm really happy in Berlin, but when I have to decide, like, okay, for a year yeah. or two, I would love to live in Copenhagen. When I have the money for it, yeah. <laughs> I love... I, I love... <laughs> I like London as well. I think London is a great city as well. Amsterdam was also great. I like cities that are near the, the, the ocean, yeah. the sea, the yeah. sea. You hear that? 
that. I love the gavita. <laughs> so yeah, what about you? I think it's a hard question, but um, I would say I definitely went to a lot of cities. Yeah, but again, also with my family a lot. So I think it's hard to make a whole opinion about it or form yeah. a whole opinion about it. But I think like a few cities that I definitely loved were Paris for once and London and New York. I feel like I would choose New York just genuinely because I just thought it was like kind of a cool vibe. I do really like it, but on the other hand, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of charm obviously to like the smaller and European yeah, city I think with you're more very, architecture, yeah, yeah, you know, like the, I feel like not saying that New York doesn't have architecture, but obviously it's not that old Paris. as oh, 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 for example, Paris yeah. or London, like they have very much historical architecture, which I really like. Um, but I think New York yeah. is more a vibe. It's yeah. like you're not there because it's very pretty or something, but you are there and it's a vibe. The people, the I think the restaurants, the clubs, whatever. It's like yeah. like living there, like Berlin. We talked yeah, about it. Like, yeah, Berlin is also not the prettiest town in Europe, but I think yeah. Berlin is just a whole vibe. Like the people, the restaurants, yeah. the club, being yeah. culture and that. Stuff in Paris York. is sorry. Paris is like a very pretty town. Yeah, city. It is. It's. It, I think Paris is just beautiful. You could be in every street around here, and it would be like you can post from there. Like, mm. Yeah, I do really like it, but I think I would choose New York just because for me it's like, yeah, it's just a vibe. Also, it really starts to rain right now, and I really like it. Mm. When I was like around 16 or something, I was always like, I want to move to Reykjavik. Because I was two times, I, were, I went to Iceland with my parents for two weeks or something. One time in winter, one time in I summer. I always wanted to go. I didn't know you went. Yeah, and I loved it. And I was a very long time in love, love, love with Iceland. And I was like, ah, oh, I could imagine so good to yeah. live there for just a year. Yeah. I would live there longer than a year because I think it's very boring as well. But yeah, I get it. I think yeah. I think it's really really cool. I wanted to always either go to LA or New York. It was always like I'm so excited for LA because everyone I met who yeah. went there was like it's so overrated. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. not worth it. Mm, I think it's not the prettiest city. Yeah. But I think it's also a vibe and the people who are there, maybe it's like cool. Mm. I think it's just a thing you will have to see at some point mm. in your life. But again, I think as well that it's not as like, because especially us being used to like European architecture, European culture. Yeah, in general, currently it starts to really, it's pouring, pouring. right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I think I think it will be cool just to kind yeah. of see it and... I mean, we will were, we were drive to San Francisco, San Diego as well. I think San Francisco is really something that I can imagine to like. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I would like it. Next question. Um, dream life in general, not just dream city, but mm -hmm. what would be your dream life? And I feel like that's such a big question to ask. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in a struggle. I think at the moment I'm really struggling with imagine my future life because the past years I was always like, oh, I want to have kids uh, at 25, 26. Yeah, <laughs> because I loved the the thought about being a young mother and a young family and stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the moment where I experience a lot of traveling and Unabhängigkeit, independence, independence, I'm like I love it, and yeah. I can't imagine to settle down at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm 20. I mean, it's five years. So yeah, but yeah. In, in five years, I don't know. I, I like the thought but of having like, yeah. more money. <laughs> Like yeah. in my 30s, for example, and traveling the world with more money. So I don't know what my dream life looks like. I mean, yeah. traveling then. I yeah, traveling. I, I would love to travel. But I would I'd also... live in Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I would I would love to meet my a cool partner, maybe, in the next yeah. years. And Her styles. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> no, surely, having <laughs> styles. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think I will let everything come to, to me. me and yeah. look how will I will deal with it. So I don't have a dream life, I think. Being happy, being healthy, yeah. confident, yeah. and loving life. Yeah. I feel like I would agree with that. I think 
it's hard to say a dream life obviously I have goals in life but for me the most important thing is what I really enjoy to be independent and confident and you know know what I'm doing be on my own and make my own money so my dream life would be to have something that I really love uh, that I'm passionate about and I feel like you know be happy confident mm -hmm. independent and yeah let everything come to me come at me yeah I think the only thing I'm scared of is being not happy in the situation that I will be in so that I'm that I'm stuck I want to avoid every every feelings that have to do with being stuck you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I'm scared of not not uh, being not able get out, out of unhappiness. I feel like I don't really get it. Mm -hmm. I think that feeling stuck is the moment of inspiration. So I feel like it is, I mean it's shitty in this situation, mm -hmm. but I do think it brings you a lot as well. Mm -hmm. And it can teach you a lot in life. Yeah, of course. Without making that like, saying like, oh, it's, it's so nice. Obviously if you're in that situation, you're kind of, you're obviously feeling shitty, but uh, for me, when I feel stuck, I always kind of like learn from it that it makes me realize what I want to accomplish mm. and realize what I definitely don't like. So if I feel stuck, for example, in a job that I don't like or in a place that I don't like, or with friends I don't like, I feel like that teaches me more than if I would just ignore it and if I would just be like, yeah, well, maybe it will come to me at some point or whatever. I mean, mm. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I will not ignore the fact, you know, I'm like scared of being, for example, in a 9-to-5 job yeah. and I'm not able of getting out of this situation because I maybe have a family or something. Yeah, that was yeah. what I meant. Ah, okay. So, of course, it, you will you have to experience those situations where you're feeling stuck and where you're like, okay, this is a thing I don't like yeah. and I will move on to the next thing. But I think you will maybe at some points are not able to do this when you have a family yeah, or yeah. something like that. I have a, now that you are starting to study, it's also, I, I think, a thought you will maybe get. I think I, when I was started yeah. my studies, I was like scared of doing this thing my whole life. Mm -hmm. Do you have the thought as well? Because I'm studying psychology and I will, uh, I, I want to be a therapist one day for children, for children, <laughs> and I'm scared of doing the, the same thing my whole life. What about you? I mean, I think it's kind of difficult because for me, I would rather have my own company or my own firm or whatever and make way less money. Mm -hmm than I would make in a 9 to 5 job because for me it's just I know that I'm a person that likes to make her own decisions and that likes to decide what is going on and what direction you're going and I think you have a lot more freedom with what you're doing mm -hmm. so um, of course I'm not in a situation right now where I would have like no money or make no money and I know mm -hmm. that's another thing to talk about but I know for me that my highest priority is to make my own decisions in my job so that is obviously why I'm doing business as well, because mm -hmm. it's just what I like doing and... I think business is also a study where you can go in so many yeah. different types of work yeah. and yeah. That's, that's a good thing. Okay guys, so um, right now it's getting pretty dark and um, I feel like we've talked about some good topics today. It was yeah. a nice chit chat and um, I'm definitely interested in hearing from you guys what you think about those kind of videos just sitting down and just talking a little um, I'm definitely gonna make an extra video on just Paris and how it feels like to move once I'm like more settled in and experience a little bit more but yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did thumbs up definitely check out Hannah's Instagram and if you're German yeah guckt euch sein ihr sein Guckt euch ihren YouTube-Kanal an. Schaut gern vorbei. Ja. Um, for it everyone else. It was definitely a, an experience to film a video in, in English. I noticed that I have to practice a lot, but it was a lot of fun. It and definitely I was. And I hope you will follow Julie along her Paris traveling moving situation. Yeah, I really hope you liked it and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.
Tchau, Cacá.